Hey guys, Tanner and Drew here this morning and we're excited to share with you as we set up this brand new 3 watt garden and pond LED spotlight kit from Aquascape to really highlight and accent our, hang on just one second, I'll flip the camera around, brand new Aquascape spillway bowls and that we just installed the day before yesterday. Check it out, Drew's been over there tweaking on them a little bit this morning. And I want you to look at how nice, if I can capture it in the shot, that water is coming out of that bottom overflow, overflow bowl, excuse me, over spill bowl, excuse me. God, I can't even talk this morning. Look at that. And then you can see the rocks real good this morning because the sun hasn't come out so bright yet. Check out the lichens behind this one bowl. I'm going to step around the back of here. I'm going to just kind of squat down and show you so you can kind of see the backdrop of it. So when you're looking over that bowl, there's going to be, and that's a red Japanese maple right there. So you're going to have a nice red backdrop right there. And then you've got this huge boulder. That boulder and that rock right there weigh 2,990 pounds, I believe. And look at all the lichens already growing all over that boulder right there. That is the main reason that I went with that boulder. So look at these spillway bowls, guys, up close. you guys a nice close-up of it here and now Drew's getting ready to, to light all this up so at night time all these ripples that you're seeing coming over the sides of these bowls with these lights shining up on them right there that's going to create just a nice shimmer effect and it's going to be really really spectacular and I can't wait to see it so let me just spin around here and show you guys all this before I cut the camera off it's coming to life more and more every day guys I'll do you guys all a quick pan shot. All right, now stay with us. We're getting ready to light those bad boys up. I just finished up loading up another full scoop or pretty much a full scoop of the Indian Creek River Rock. We've used a little over half of that uh, brand new full pallet that I purchased the day before yesterday. And I'm getting ready to take it back over here at the job right over here at the project and I want to show you guys how easy it is just driving one of these machines and just a few months ago whenever I first looked into buying one of these I was so intimidated by it and I probably still should be because this thing would kill you in a second but check it out if you can play an old uh, Nintendo with old joystick controller dude you can play this or better yet drive it I should say so whenever you turn the key on you got to wait for these lights to kick off then you can fire it right up this green joystick on the right, if I pull it back, that's what raises it up. If I push forward, that's what takes it down. So I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. Now, driving this machine is done fully with this joystick right here. Check it out. And what will throw you off is when you push it right, it does the opposite. It makes you go left when you're going backwards. And that takes just a little getting used to. But yeah. It's that easy. Watch this. I'll spin it around here. Try not to do it too sharp. Don't want to really tear up the yard no more than I have to. Right there it is, guys. I'll try to squat down and give you guys a better shot. So check it out. I'm doing every bit of that with this right here. Drew's over here now trying to see exactly where he wants to install these lights. And uh, we'll get off here and uh, see what all he's got going on. Got you some places picked out, Drew? Cool. He just said it's going to be a little hard to do in the daytime, but what he and I are going to do, we're going to come back over here at nighttime one night, and we're going to adjust all these lights perfectly and get some killer nighttime footage of this project. Stay with us, and we'll give you some more installation details on exactly what Ollie's doing right now. So once you've unboxed your lights out of your package, it's up to you to get them placed in accordance to how you see is going to be the best fit for your project. I'm going to flip the camera around now and tell you a few details in regards to hooking these things up. On this particular job site, we want to keep in mind the majority of the viewing time is going to be spent from the inside of the home. And so many people fail to even recognize that. You know, they end up putting water features like this somewhere they can't even see them. You want to make sure you can see this thing at all times year round. 
So you don't want any of these bright lights shining back in your eyes. You want them all shining out towards the project. And right here, these three new lights that Drew's putting in right now, he is expecting this one right here to light up that falls coming over from that upper bowl. And then he's got the two over here that he's working on installing right now to kind of highlight that entire area. And Gina's landscaper is coming in behind us later this afternoon. He's going to be mulching all of this. So these wires and lights that you see right here in this mud, that is going to have mulch over all that later this evening. Now, these lights have to all be connected into one of our photo cell units. That photo cell unit made by, made by us here at Aquascape is what tells these lights to come on and off during the nighttime and daytime hours. And Drew was just making a good point. Drew... Can you tell them because this package comes with a photo cell to use, is that correct? So it comes with your photo cell, but guys, we have already got a photo cell in use from this project. So tell them what you're going to do, Drew. I'm going to run these lights and see the photo cell that's already there. Awesome. So we're not actually going to end up having to use the photo cell that came with the light kit. We're going to go ahead and tie it in to the open outlet ends right here that we got already ran for this project's lighting needs here so stay with us he's getting ready to connect those lights to the photo cell unit now so guys each one of the new spotlights here on the other end of it you're going to see this right here what these are going to connect into are going to be our splitters and we've got splitters ran from over there coming over here to this splitters we've currently got five open sections here to for these to go into so you see these three i'm going to go ahead and twist one off to show them drew they twist off just like the cap on a bottle and then whenever you insert them into here and you screw that cap back on that is what is going to create our watertight seal so any of our splitters can be if you want to go ahead and show them i'll hold the camera go ahead and show them how that connects in there and creates a watertight seal so that these splitters can be fully submerged into water so he's just simply pressing that into place now you see that cap that's the lid he's screwing it back down and the t as you don't want to use tools guys because you can easily break those just snug it down as tight as you can with your fingers and now that connection is waterproof and ready for action okay drew tell us a little bit about what's going on right now here at the end I'm about to plug the last set of lights into the splitter to the main photo cell and that's going to be it you all want to work together so all that's left to do once your final connection has been made is simply plug the power outlet, <clears throat> plug the power cord into the outlet itself and then just sit back, wait for it to start getting dark and let our Aquascape photo cell turn on the lights for you. And once again, like we've already stated, we will come back and return to adjust these lights in any way they need fit so that this job is in accordance to everything else we do perfect and i'm going to show you guys a close-up real quick of all the excess wiring that is left over we're getting ready to hide that now and by the way before it's said and done my father-in-law is bringing us some deeper outlet cover units here because these pl these plug outlet ends for our lights are a little too large for the cover that came with that one and it won't fully close so we're going to make sure we've got some that are deep enough to fully enclose that and so that thing closes up nice and tight like it's supposed to. So stay with us here and I'll show you guys the after shot whenever he finishes up hiding those wires. So check it out guys, we just finished putting some more of those Indian Creek River rocks around that bunch of wires there. We're going to leave that bit of wire exposed like we mentioned earlier because he's going to be coming in and mulching around all that later this afternoon. So now it's just time to sit back and enjoy this project. I'll try to get you guys some killer shots of some different angles here. And I'm speaking of Drew, look how pretty he is from that side. His right side is prettier than his left. <laughs> smile, show him that smile on that right side. See that mustache he's got? <laughs> Check it out guys. Look at the rocks, look at the lichens, look at the Japanese maples coming in the background. Wow. Our spillway bowls really set this corner of this pond up. It's 
sorry if I'm shaking all over guys, but try to just tiptoe around this solid mud and I'm walking and you can see it's stuck on my boots. It's a muddy mess over here right now. Just want to give you guys, some of you that may not know anything about our spillway bowls or any of our fountain kits for that matter. We have a large selection of fountain kits available. This is a full unit that can, that can be done on your own. You'll have to get with me for the details on the instructions on how to do so. But guys, we've got stacked, we've got stacked slate urns. We've got, um, one of my favorites is the basalt columns. We can, you can get them in one, two, three, five, whatever, but the basalt columns, they are killer. Of course, our signature series spillway bowls here. We've got stacked slate walls. I've got all those in stock. So we can come and say you want a nice little background border like this rock, for example. I've got a stacked slate wall that could been put in right there that just sit there and just dumps water over it at all times. You can install lighting to any of our projects. We got fire kits that can be added to our projects. That's really pretty there. I'll try to get uh, some of the swimming pool and the pond all in the same shot there for you. For those of you that may be viewing for the first time, my name is Tanner Flowers. That fella right over there is one of my best friends since high school, Mr. Drew Burt. <laughs> he said we've torn up a lot of stuff together over the years and that is the absolute truth for sure. Um, hope you guys are noticing the attention to detail and the craftsmanship that he and I put into each and every one of our projects. Check it out guys. Can't wait to see it all at night time. Can't wait to share the nighttime footage with all of you. Check out some of these other many, many cascades that you will see scattered amongst this particular project. For any of you viewing right now that would like to see the project happen as it happened, literally from the beginning to end, Subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Tanner Flowers or visit us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Tanner Flowers Music and you'll be able to see every single one of these videos and watch this right here go from a slope bank of grass into what you're seeing right now. And I'm just making my way over here to this side to kind of show you another shot of those spillway bowls in action from this opposite uh, corner of the pond here. Sorry, I didn't mean it, but right here in front of me is the steps leading down into the pond. Check that out. Let's see here. There's the shot right there, guys. Check it out. I'll try to hold this for you. I wish you guys could hear it in person because you wouldn't want to leave from where I'm sitting right here. It's so enjoyable, so peaceful, so much tranquility taking place. And if anyone could use the peace and tranquility, it's my friend Gina. As mentioned in a previous video, this has been a memorial project. Gina's husband has passed recently, two weeks ago as a matter of fact. This project has been done in dedication to him. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for viewing this total project. Thank you for tuning in to see how we install our lights. And as always, stay tuned for many, many more, <coughs> excuse me, many, many more videos that we'll be sharing with all of you in the future. And that's my boy over there, watch him toss them rocks. He's He's always like throwing them rocks in the water. So you doing a good job. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Visit us online at pondartist.com. Feel free to hit me up on my cell, 423-503-0512.